Hey everyone, it's Somna and my new track Dreamcatcher with LTN is out now. Happens to be the second track from my upcoming artist album, so I can't wait to show you guys it. And uh, I thought today, or right now, I would show you guys the project and how it came about. So, I'm going to move over to, uh, to my computer screen here, so just bear with me. Alright, so, I use Cubase, uh, as some of you may be aware. And I just want to show you the original track that LTN showed me, which I've just popped into my DAW here, and uh, show you what it sounds like. So the original concept that he sent me is definitely a lot uh, more down tempo, chill. Still a really, really great track. I really enjoyed it, and I heard a lot of potential in it. Um, Here's the uh, breakdown. It's got a really nice piano. And then the drop. So yeah, as you can tell, um, it was a very full-fledged song when uh, LTN sent it over to me. And it sounded really good and uh, we decided to work on it as a collaboration to make it a bit stronger. Maybe a bit more club friendly and stuff. So um, what I did was I took um, his groove and made it, uh, it was already triplets to begin with, but I gave it a bit more of an aggressive bass line. So here is my bass line, it's uh, these four layers here, this one's a sub. So yeah, it's just a, a triplet bass line I guess with some uh, of his pads cut up and reversed. Oh, you can hear it. And then he had some really cool vocal chops in his original and I just took it and chopped it up a bit. just to give it a bit more movement and groove and excitement. So, and then uh, here's the breakdown. I've got his original pads in here and then some pianos and a bit more pads in there to fill it up. And then I made some new plucks here and uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool um, to make it very sort of uh, hmm, abstract in a way, I guess. And then I used a plugin called Glitch to give it a bit more extra movement, which I'm going to scroll up in a second. But So here is the plucks. And the reverb is opening up so it gets uh, bigger and wider. So right here I've automated the mix knob for the Glitch plugin. So that is uh, just a knob right here. Yeah, and as you can hear right now, it's uh, it's getting wider and opening up more. So. as it builds up. So um, the way this drop uh, came about, there is a really, really nice percussion sound that LTN put in his track. Uh, it's just, uh, here, this is how it sounds like. has a really nice tone to it, so I thought it'd be really cool to make that the main element in the drop and use the uh, Waves sound shifter to pitch it up as it as it goes, so if you watch this ratio knob here, as it plays, it just rises. And at the same time I layer two synths here from Silent that also do the same. Without the percussion, 
with the percussion and everything in it. And then the original melody that LTN had, which sounds a bit like this. So I just chopped that up during this section to give it a bit of excitement and a bit of melody to it. So yeah, um, that's kind of how it came about. and. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this insight into how we made the track. It was a real pleasure working with LTN. I remember hearing uh, some of the stuff when I first started um, producing trance, and uh, yeah, it was just great working with them. So be sure to check out Dreamcatcher. It is out now on Ava Recordings, and it'll also be on my upcoming artist album. So be sure to uh, to download it, um, save it to your Spotify and whatnot. All right, uh, thanks for checking in, and um, uh, stay safe, everyone.